Hi, it's Kara, and today we'll be filming a TBR shelf tour. I am sorry, I am so not steady. I'm just filming on my phone because I don't have a tripod. So here we are. I'm going to show you my TBR shelves and a little bit of a room tour, I guess. So let's flick to the other view. So this is my room. Don't look under my bed, it's hideous. It's my bed. I'm trying to arrange to get a bigger bed, but you know. My window. My large TBR shelf with all its knickknacks and things. My chair. My washing basket. My chest of drawers, my TV. My wardrobe. And my other TBR shelf, which is what I'm using as bedside table currently. So let's start. You're gonna get my hands on the shovel all the time, I apologize. So first off we have here. This is Empire of Storms. This is my currently reading section. Um, so let's get down. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently reading Empire of Storms by Sarah J Mass, which you can see is glorious. I'm about 150 pages through and I'm gonna be reading more of this as soon as I've finished filming this for you guys. <laughs> And then essentially this shelf here is my, like, soon-to-be-read TBR pile. Like, high priority. So first we have As in Hamilton by Ron Chernow. I'm actually currently reading this as well. I'm about 300 pages, 200 pages into this one, sorry. And then we have Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Ricks. Gosh, this angle is terrible, I'm so sorry. This is kind of in my intended reading order, but that may change. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. So then if we take it by order, we move, by reading order, we move to this shelf here. A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. The Land of Stories, An Author's Odyssey by Chris Colfer. Nevernight by J. Christoph. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. A Torch Against the Night by Sabata Hia. The First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North. Red Seas Under Red Skies by Scott Lynch. And Lexicon by Max Barry. Then we have this shelf down here, which is the next in the order. So we have The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. And I Darken by Kirsten White. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The Cure for Dreaming by Kat Winters. The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. The Warrior Heir by Cindy Williams Chimer. And The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. And then finally for this little thing, we move over to here. Oh, I should also mention, I have some pop vinyls in here. So we have Cogsworth, um, Mrs. Potts and Chip, Lumiere, and Gus Gus in, a in the um, slipper from Cinderella. And they're really cute. And then I just have a couple more decor stuff down there. But we have them in here. So we have Razorhurst by Justine Labalestier, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, Walled City by Ryan Grouded, The Magician King by Liv Grossman, and finally Talon by Julie Kagawa. So that is it for my high priority shelf. These are, yeah, as I said, kind of in the order I intend to read them. So obviously some new releases will come out and they'll get inserted into this section. And then beyond that we have the other shelf which is everything else. So let's start up here. On the top we have my name and cracks in the ceiling. But my name because um, I had nowhere else to put it. And then here we go up here. This is the shelf. And my TBR job. Let's go. We have The Kite Runner by Haled Hosseini. We have The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. The Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. Insatiable and Overbite by Meg Cabot. Lament and Ballad by Maggie Stiefvater. Eon by Alison Goodman. First Life by Gina Showalter. Rogue and Soldier by Julie Kagawa. The Jewel by Amy Ewing. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. Then we have Delirium, Pandemonium and Requiem by Lauren Oliver. Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Shadow of the Wind and the Angels Game by Carlos Ruiz Safon. Doctor Who 11 Doctors 11 Stories by all those people. Most of which I've read some of and like. Then we have World After and End of Days by Susan E. 
the Sweet Far Thing by Libra Bray, even though I also need to get A Great and Terrible Beauty and Rebel Angels, because I don't, haven't read or own those either, so I gotta get those before I can read this. And finally from this shelf, ooh, get that shaky under control, The Dark and Hollow Places by Carrie Ryan, which I still need to get the second one of, which I believe is The Dead Tossed Waves. Okay, and now we're down to this shelf. Um, I'm gonna just set up the shelf, here's a candle, there it is, and some bookmarks, but let's get started. So we have Shiva, Linger, Forever, and Sinner. Technically, I believe I've either read Shiva or all three of these, but not this one. But I honestly can't remember whether I've read all three or just Shiva, so we're gonna reread those, because I can't even remember, to be honest. Then we have The Right Three by Blue Balliot and illustrated by Brett Helquist, which is gorgeous, and I loved the first one, which was Chasing Vimnia. Oh, by the way, some of these I got, like this one, I got in um, library sales, which is why they still have the library sticker on them. They're all permanently done like that, and I don't want to take the plastic off. We have um, HHHH by Laurent Binet. I think that's how you say it. Then we have Life in Outer Space by Melissa Kyle. I still need to get um, The Adventures of Cinnamon Girl, but they're not actually a series, so I wasn't too stressed. We have Revived and The Originals by Cat Patrick. These aren't a series, but they're obviously similar kind of themes, I guess, and by the same author, so they can you can see them together. Why not? Then we have Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. One Day by David Nichols. Alfie and Oliver by Christina Maracho. Elsewhere by Gabriel Zevin. Stormfront by Jim Butcher, which is the first one in the Dresden Files, and if I like it, I might get more. The Lightning Bolt and the Butterfly in Amber by Kate Forsyth, which are fit books five and six in the Chain of Charm series. Cloud Atlas by David Mitchell. Yes, this is the movie cover. I got it really cheap. I was not gonna complain. The Sinniness Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. Grave Mercy, Dark Triumph and Mortal Heart by Robin Lefevers. On Q84, The Complete Trilogy by Murakami. The Republic of Thieves by Scott Lynch. Captain Corelli's Mandolin by Louis Debonairs. And finally from this shelf, The Quick by Lauren Owen. Then we have this shelf here, which has a few more knickknacks on it. We'll start, oh, we'll start over this end. We have almost every book by Cindy Williams Charmy here, so let's go. The Wizard Air, The Dragon Air, The Demon King, The Exiled Queen, The Grey Wolf Throne, The Crimson Crown, and The Enchanter Air. Then we have The Way of Kings Part 1 and 2 and Words of Radiance Part 1 and 2 by Brandon Sanderson. These are the still my archive series as it is currently in existence. The first four books in Tales of the Atori, I believe there's also a prequel novel, which I don't have. But so we have Across the Nightingale Floor, Grass for His Pillow, Brilliance of the Moon, and The Harsh Cry of the Heron, all by Lee and Hearn. Then we have Mystic City and Toxic Heart by Thea Lawrence, and I'm so upset these are not the same size. The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. The Magician's Land by Lev, Lev Grossman. This bind up, well it's actually a box set, but I'm not going to pull them out of the box, of the PC Grant novels by Ben Aranovich, which is Rivers of London, Moon Over Soho, and Whispers Underground. And then the next two books in the series, Broken Homes and Foxglove Summer. Then we have this shelf here, which has my masquerade mask. It's gorgeous. I love it. We have My Sister Rosa by Justine La Balestier, The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater. This is an arc, but I haven't bought an actual one, so oh well. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, and The Madness Underneath, which is the second book in the series. I still need to pick up the third one, but I'm putting it off till I've actually started this. Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. Then we have um, books two to the end of the series of The Last Dragon Chronicles, which is Icefire, Firestar, The Fire Eternal, Dark Fire, Fire World, and The Fire Ascending. I have already read Icefire and half of The Firestar, but um, I started a reread of this series a while back and all that I've got to is the first one, so that's why these are here. Also, I can't remember that much of them, and apparently it just gets insane the further you get, especially compared to the plot of the first book, 
which is basically an adorable little middle grade story. Apparently it gets insane by this end. So I'm very excited to read these. Then we have Aragon, Eldest, Brisinger and Inheritance by Christopher Palmini. Yes, it's the movie cover. I know. My mom bought it for me when I was like 10 and I didn't have an option. So yeah, it's fine. I can live. It's fine. I'm not going to buy another one. Then we have the entire Artemis Fowl series, which is huge. So we have here the Artemis Fowl Files, which is a companion book, but it's slightly smaller, so it was on top. Um, Artemis Fowl, Artemis Fowl, The Arctic Incident, The Eternity Code, The Opal Deception, The Lost Colony, The Time Paradox, the Atlantis Complex, and The Last Guardian. I have actually read many times the first... I've read the first four many times. I've read the fifth and sixth once each. Um, I feel like I've read half of seven, but also these are worthy of a reread. So they are on here. I want to reread them again, and they are middle grade, so they're relatively fast. And I don't know if I ever finished The Artemis Fowl Files. So I'm keen to read that as well. So that's theirs. And now we have this shelf down here. Ooh, let's not hide Bilbo Baggins's face. There we go, there's Bilbo. Uh, <laughs> okay, so we, we also have other than Bil our good friend Bilbo over here with his hairy cute little feet. We also have this uh, little beauty angel, which my mum got me a while back. And... This Hufflepuff badge, which my boyfriend got me for my birthday, and it's so cute. I've just noticed that the badger kind of looks like it has a duck bill, but oh well. It's a badger, and it's cute. It's my Hufflepuff badge, because I am a Hufflepuff through and through. So first we have the entire Vampire Academy series, so that is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Why does this photo always look like a young Angelina Jolie? Is that just me? Or is it Angelina Jolie? Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice. Then we have Finnegan of the Rock and Four of the Exiles by Melina Marchetta. I do need to pick up the third one of these, which is Quintana, Quintana of Charon. But I'm, again, waiting till I've actually read one of these before I do some spending. Then we have Temera and Throne of Jade by Naomi Novik. This is a huge series and I will collect more of them once I've read at least one of these. <laughs> then we have The Bridge to Holy Cross and The Summer Garden by Paulina Simons. Golden Lights, The Subtle Knife and The Amber Spyglass by Philip Pullman. This is the Golden Compass series, but like, well technically he's Dark Materials. But it was the movie The Golden Compass, but Northern Lights is a way better title, so I'm going with it. And finally, we have the entire Secrets of the Immortal Nicholas Flamel series. So, The Alchemist by Michael Scott. The Magician. Gosh, these covers are gorgeous. I love them. The Sorceress. Necromancer. The Warlock. And The Enchantress. And finally, we're down to the very bottom shelf. I might catch my knee in a few of these shots, but we'll see how we go. These are all trade paper, essentially, except except for those tiny little Outlander books. So we have The Last Witchfinder by James Morrow, Bitter Greens by Kate Forsyth, The Bone Clocks by David Mitchell, Map of Time and The Map of the Sky by Felix J. Palmer, and I also need to pick up the third one of these. It looks gorgeous. The Book of Joby by Mark J. Ferrari, The Luminaries by Eleanor Catton, The Old Kingdom Chronicles by Garth Nix, which includes in this big bind-up, Sigbril, Lyriel, and Aborson, and then this is the prequel that recently came out, which is Clariel, and the new one just released, like, yesterday, and is called Golden Hand. Um, and I'll be picking that up soon, I think. Lady Helen and the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. Jay by Howard Jacobson. And then we have the Outlander series. I don't have absolutely every book. I'm missing about two, but I, I already showed you Outlander over on the other shelf over there. But here we have Dragonfly and Amber, Voyager, Drums of Autumn, The Fiery Cross, and Written in My Own Heart's Blood. The ones I'm missing are A Breath of Snow and Ashes and Neko in the Bone, but they're so far down the list that I'll get them when I'm like reading Drums of Autumn, I think. So those are my TBR shelves. I will be doing a like 
house tour and probably and a um, proper um, shelf tour for my other shelves once they're fully set up because they're currently still in processing so yes hopefully I will have something else for you soon and I will see you then with another video bye